Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be doing a realistic family home, as you can see from the title. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. I think this one is going to be maybe a little bit different from usual. Um, just in terms of like the colors and stuff that I used in the house. Because I used more, like I used neutral stuff a lot, but I used a lot of like brown and like kind of tan colors and things like that which i don't usually go for but i wanted it to feel like kind of realistic in terms of like colors and stuff like that and i feel like a lot of homes um at least the ones that i go to um they usually don't have like a, a whole lot of color it's usually a lot of like neutrals like creams and beiges and tans and browns and stuff like that um so yeah that's what i went for uh just to do something different i guess um, but we're probably going to get back on the colorful, <laughs> um, stuff soon because, uh, that's what I really prefer to build with. And it was actually kind of hard. It was funny doing this because, um, you'd think like doing neutrals would be super easy, but then I was doing it and, um, like I'd place something really neutral down and then be like, oh, right, I could do that in like a blue or I could do that in an orange or something. And then I was like, no, 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 we're doing... We're doing neutrals. I want to do something more, you know, realistic color-wise. So, uh, yeah, I did, like, stop myself a couple times from using something more colorful. Um, and just kind of run-of-the-mill stuff that um, you would see, I guess, in a more realistic house. Uh, and that's pretty much it. That's what I did for this build. Um, I actually wasn't planning on doing a, like whole big like family home kind of build um i was gonna do an apartment first and then do a family build after i try to like stagger my uploads um based on like the difficulty or the time that goes into a build so like for example if i do like a really big family home or something the next build i try to make it either something that's like a tour video um so i don't have to like do a speed build and I just do like the voiceover and show you guys something that I've already done or I do um, an apartment just because it's like it's a lot easier after doing a really big build um, to like do something that's smaller so I try to like stagger it like that with my uploads um, but I don't know I was just like in the mood um, at the time to do this I actually built this um, last week or the week before, like two weeks ago, um, and then I didn't upload it because I started a new medication and it kind of kicked my butt with the side effects and I was really dizzy and nauseous <laughs> for like a week straight. Um, so that's why I didn't get a video out last week. Um, I did a community post just to give you guys a heads up, um, but I was like, I could not, I wasn't in the headspace <laughs> to do a voiceover or anything like that so I'm feeling a bit better now um I've kind of, it's kind of evened out with my medication so I'm feeling a lot better so uh, I decided today that I would sit down and finally get the voiceover done for this build so um hopefully I remember <laughs> what I did um because it's been like almost two weeks since I've like looked at this build um but yeah I was trying to go for um something that's really run of the mill like in terms of the actual like build itself it's very you know boxy and rectangular and kind of simple which is um just easier to build honestly like if you're doing a family house and you know that you're gonna have a lot of rooms um it's just easier to do like a floor plan and everything when it's more boxy and less like has like jutting out shapes and stuff like that so those kind of the goal was to kind of keep it simple um with like the shape and everything so it'd be hopefully simple to um do a floor plan for the inside uh and yeah and the colors obviously on the outside are also pretty neutral um with like the i don't know what color that's like a tan i guess the siding and then um the brick there um i find like especially when i was trying to do a save file um, when I was trying to build like neighborhoods and stuff, I would always use like the same white siding and red brick. And then I found, found it really difficult to 
like break out of that. I don't know why. I just like always went for white siding and then like a brick. And I would change like the brick out, but it was always a red brick because I don't like the gray and black brick that much. So it was like always the houses all look the same. Um, so I kind of tried to break that a little bit here by using the kind of like tan beigey siding um, for like the top portion of the house because I don't I don't usually use that one I don't know why but yeah um, I'm just doing like the backyard I guess it's not really a backyard because it's it's more of like a side yard obviously because um, we're building in San Sequoia so obviously like the lots for this world were all very like wide and not very deep so I had to build a side yard for this house um, so yeah, obviously it's like a side yard and not a backyard, but I put a, uh, what did I put back here? I'm trying to remember. <laughs> I think I put like a seating area with like a barbecue, um, for the family to go outside and have some meals together. And I put a little pool back there as well. Um, and I think I put a kiddie pool or a slip and slide. One of those things. It's like another, like... Um, summer fun sort of object but I can't remember which one I did also um, you might have noticed that I did like an attached an attached I don't know why I said that weird um, an attached garage um, to the house so I did use a medium wall height and then um, obviously like the part where you go inside of the house like the actual area of the house and not the garage is up by I think three or two no, it's three. Um, it's up by like three platforms. And I did that so I could have the garage attached to the house. Um, because if you put it on a, if you just like raise the foundation up and then try to make an attached garage, the garage obviously goes up with the rest of the house. And so it's not level with the ground and then it looks weird. Um, and I've seen people do different things like raise the terrain and then they use tool to like rotate the cars. Um, if there's like a car outside of the garage so that it's like, looks like it could go into the garage or they'll use like a roof piece and then make it like a little angle um but I don't like I see the like you know obviously terrain like it kind of go up on a hill and then go into garages but I don't see like a ramp or something that often in real life if at all I don't think I've ever seen that um so I just wanted obviously like this to be more realistic so I decided to do um this little I don't know if it's a trick because I feel like people do this I don't know <laughs> um but I just decided to put it on um a platform um like the main part of the house on a platform and then just leave that as a garage that's on like the level floor because that way you can get an elevated um house with like a porch out front and a deck out back but you can have a garage that is just level with the ground um so yeah I don't know if that's something that you guys struggle with or something in building that's usually how I do it just so it's easier <laughs> um, than trying to like level the ground out um, and like make a little angled terrain or whatever but yeah so I did that and then um, I try to make it like a path going to from the side yard to the deck because I thought it would make sense like if they um, I don't know had people over or something and then they're all coming in to go to like have a pool party or something in the summertime that they would just use that side gate um, and then make it inside. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Sometimes when I'm building, I just think of like how the people, or I guess the Sims, <laughs> um, how the Sims would use the space. So um, yeah, I don't know. I'll, I'll have like little scenarios in my head while I'm building. I don't know if anyone else does that, um, but I'll like picture conversations or like things happening with whoever lives here not all the time but sometimes I do that um especially if it's like a family build or something um so yeah I don't know I'll just picture like we're gonna have a cookout and then there's like family and friends coming up the driveway with like you know saran wrapped salads and like food and stuff like that and they're going through the side gate um to come and have some summer fun I don't know that's kind of just how my brain works but I just wanted to <laughs> attach that um the driveway to the deck so yeah I just made that little path there and then you saw I did like the pool thing and I think I've done this before 
I'm pretty sure I've done it before. If I haven't done it in a build for the channel, um, I've definitely done it like just for myself in gameplay and like houses I built, uh, where I make like the pool look like as if it's one of those like hard side pools that you get from the store. Um, they can buy and like set up and everything uh, instead of an in-ground pool because in-ground pools are really expensive. Um, the pools that you can buy in the stores are expensive, but they're not as expensive as the in-ground pool. So it's kind of more um, of like an affordable option for some people. And I just thought like the Sims here would have um, that kind of above ground pool. So that's what I decided to do there. Um, I didn't do much on this like front porch area. I just kind of put like a little sitting area and little tables here. I don't really know what to do with front porches a lot of the time. Um, I usually make them, like I don't usually build houses that don't have a front porch, uh, but I don't know how to furnish them very well. So <laughs> I just kind of put this seating area there. I mean, I feel like that's all people really usually have on a front porch anyways, but yeah. So it's just like a simple seating area. They probably come sit out here and I don't know, watch their kids ride bikes or something. Um, in the evening and I think we're going on the inside now and we're in the kitchen I was gonna put the kitchen where it is right now um, off into the backyard but then I just really didn't like I just really didn't like it <laughs> I didn't like the way it was laid out and I didn't like um, the space of the kitchen so I decided to put it in the other room uh, where I was going to put the dining room and the dining room goes here and then leads outside onto the deck. Um, I just liked it better. I don't know if anyone else is going to like that as much, but um, yeah, I put the kitchen in here instead because it just felt more cozy. Um, and yeah, that's what this kitchen looks like. And I use these cabinets. I, I don't know if I've, I don't think I've used them in a build so far. Um, since it's come out, but it's by a winged llama. Um, it's part of their like nostalgia uh, Set that they've been putting out uh, For a while now, but yeah, it's like the kitchen set that matches with the rest of the nostalgia CC packs and I really love it a lot um, I feel like this is a kitchen that I'm gonna use probably very often because it just looks like your typical Like kitchen cupboards. They're not like too fancy and they're not too like modern they're just like the right amount of traditional and I don't know it just looks very normal I guess to me um but yeah I don't know I just really like these counters so I'll probably be using them quite a bit um yeah so I just used this uh kitchen set and I was gonna put an island in the middle and then I thought it looked too congested so um I don't end up doing that um and I think I just put like a small like table and chairs in here just so like if you're I don't know they're like trying to get ready to go to work or school in the morning then they just have a quick like cereal or toast or something and then they head out the door um and then there's like the dining room which is like for I don't know dinner and then like if you have people over and stuff like that but I just thought it would make sense to put a little table in here just to um something casual and you know quick for like the mornings and stuff like that but yeah um i can't remember how many bedrooms are in this house to be honest with you because it was two weeks ago when i built it i think it's four i think it's four bedrooms it's either three or four bedrooms because i think i do i think i do a parent's bedroom I think there's a teen room in this build and then I think there's one for a toddler or a kid. It might be three, maybe it's three bedrooms, but yeah, I think, I think that's what it is. We'll find out together <laughs> when uh, we get to the upstairs, but it's something um, similar to that. Um, but yeah, um, I know in my, I don't know if it was the last upload, but it was one of the last two at least. Um, that I did and I was mentioning like building a save file and I don't know the more that I'm like doing it <laughs> the more I'm like I don't know if I can 
I I don't know if I have like the stamina to finish it. Um, I was gonna do it, and then I was I'm thinking about like you know custom content and you know if people would like it, and then I'll be building something, and I'll be like you know maybe someone wouldn't like the way this is. I don't know. I, I'm kind of getting into my head about it. I think, and um, I've also been on. If you're on Tumblr, then um, you might know someone uh named folkling and they're doing a they've done the um winbrook save file if you're familiar with that save file um and they're making another one that's more realistic and they've like used a blowtorch mod so they've made um which basically like empties the world and so you can make like the world's anything that you really want um it just makes it more like customizable i guess um and so they've been using that and doing a um, a new save file, um, and it's got, like, some CC in it, and it's, you know, bulldozed everything, like, all the shells and stuff from EA, so it looks a lot different, and, um, the more that I'm seeing it in development, the more I'm like, should I do a save file if someone's doing one already that looks like something, I don't know, that I would like to play in, to be honest. <laughs> um, so, yeah, I don't know. The only thing about um that save file is uh the sims that they're like making in it for like the townies and stuff are really unique looking they're like very pixar looking which is really cool i actually really like the style that they're going for with the sims but i know that i don't make my sims like that so i feel like if i tried to play in the save file with those sims then my sims would look really weird in comparison because they wouldn't look like sort of a pixar more cartoony style type of sim um so that's like the only reservation i guess i have about it but i guess i would just i don't know go in and then replace people um but yeah there's that save file coming out and i just feel like i don't know if it's like a <laughs> i don't know if it's like a self-esteem thing where i'm like i can't make a save file as good as this or if it's just me um thinking that I don't know, I would enjoy playing that one better and be less critical about it um, than one that I would build. But anyways, I don't know. I'm just going on like a train of thought here, but um, I'm not sure about doing a save file. And if I do a save file, I feel like it would be something, it would for sure contain CC. Um, and I know some people don't like that for save files. Um, just for like, you know, clogging up their own computers and stuff like that, which I understand. Um, but yeah, I would for sure use custom content in one if I did one. And I just don't know. I don't know. I don't know if I, if I want to do one. <laughs> I know I've been like talking about it for a while, so it feels kind of bad to be like, I'm not doing it anymore. And who knows? Maybe I'll change my mind. Maybe, um, you know, I'll end up like finishing a world or like a couple worlds and be like, you know what? I do want to share this. Um, but for right now, um, I've been building stuff in Brindleton Bay and I've, I've been enjoying doing it. Um, but I've been enjoying doing it for like, just for myself, I guess. And, um, like the story and stuff that I've been building with like different Sims in the town. I don't know. I don't know what I'm gonna do. Um, I don't know what that rant was about, but <laughs> um, it was just, it was just something that came to mind. Cause I know that I've mentioned it in videos before about like trying to do a save file, but I wanted to be um, transparent about that because I don't know if I'm gonna release one or not. Um, if there's one that's coming out that looks like something I'd want to play in anyways, you know? But I don't know. We'll see. Who knows? I might um, decide to do it anyways, but uh, I talked over this living room, so uh, sorry about that. Um, I do end up um, using these couch colors, so I go with like the cream and then the black couch because um, in most houses I go to, it's usually like brown, black, or beige is like the colors of the couches they have. Um, I don't think I've been to literally anybody's house that had a different colored couch, <laughs> so... Those seem to be the colors, so that's what I went with um, for this living room. And yeah, it's just like your run of the mill living room. I put like toys and stuff around because 
there was kids in the house and I thought it made sense that they would have uh, stuff downstairs because I do I noticed actually um, when I was doing this living room that I don't usually do that for some reason like I have toys and stuff laying around in the living room but that happens like all the time like kids don't usually have like a designated playroom or like just have all their toys in just one in the room like upstairs which is what I usually do um they usually have it like all over the place <laughs> you know it's all over the house and it's in like the living room especially uh because the family hangs out there so um yeah I guess I just felt like it was more realistic to have some toys laying out in the living area so that's what I put there um and I'm just doing like the kind of stair area I really love this set uh it's called happy stairways I think um by Cyboulet and I just really like it it looks so cool I've been wanting like a CC thing like this for a long time where we could you know make the stairs more useful especially if we have it in this like kind of L shape um because usually if I do this L shape with a stair I just put like I don't know it's usually like a bench or something because it's usually I put stairs um at the front door most of the time um so it's usually like a bench and then I picture like sims would be using it to put on their shoes and stuff like that or I put um like a dresser or something and like a mirror um but I decided to use this set because it's really awesome and I love it <laughs> and I've been wanting something like that for a long time so I'm happy that we have it now um and then I'm just doing like the the hallway and stuff I did the um what's it called um oh my goodness my brain is like not here um I'm pretty sure that I did the bathrooms oh my goodness I did the bathrooms off camera I'm pretty sure because this video was literally gonna be almost two hours long and I'm not gonna sit here and talk for two hours and I don't think anyone wants to hear me talk for two hours <laughs> um so you know I spared all of us and I cut out the bathrooms um they're really like just basically decorated it's I mean it's like it's a bathroom so um I don't think anyone's missing anything um by me skipping that but yeah so you're not going to see any bathrooms being furnished um I'm sorry if you really love bathrooms and you wanted to see that but um yeah uh it was gonna be like an hour and like 40 minutes long and that was that's too long for me so um yeah we just decided um or I just decided that I was gonna cut that out so we didn't have to sit here and um listen to me ramble for that long um but this is the um downstairs basement and I know I said like not everyone has a playroom and stuff like that but I thought because I have this extra space that I would use it for like a play area um so they have their toys upstairs but then they also have like an area downstairs where it's like i mean like really all they have upstairs is the toy chest so they can just like pull out toys and like play with it um but this has like games and you know a video game console and the tent and a dollhouse so they have more like activities to do down here so they still have toys upstairs in the living room but then they have like their own space down here and i think i put down the um that like puppet thing I think it came with like the kids room pack um but it's like a puppet show thing that your kids can like go and put puppet shows I think I literally have never used this object now that I'm thinking about it I don't think I've ever seen any kid sim I've ever had use this object so now I'm gonna have to go in my game and play with that because I genuinely don't even know how it's used I don't even know how it works because I don't think I've ever used it which is crazy um because I've had that for a while but um yeah and then I put like a desk down here because um I don't think I had room upstairs I don't think for like an office space um because I decided to do a uh guest room on the first floor instead of like an office um but you could turn that upstairs room into an office but I just thought it made sense to have it down here if you have like kids um so like the parent could keep an eye on the kids and stuff like that and then um, do work down here so yeah I just moved it down here I guess um, instead of having it on the first floor where I put a guest bedroom um, now that we have like growing together and everything you can have people stay over I just thought it's nice to have like an extra room in case um, someone asks to stay over or um, if you want to have like a sim or like a grandparent or something stay over or a cousin or something I don't know 
Um, it's just good for like gameplay stuff now that we have that um, ability to have people stay over. So I have that extra guest bedroom and then the um, little desk space down here. And I put like the kids art table near the desk because I thought maybe the kid was like, I'll work at the desk with you. And then they'll like do crafts while their parent is doing work. And I thought that was cute. So um, I put those kind of close to each other. And I like the lighting down here. I use lights from um, the Amber House pack by Simsy45. And they have like the pot lights um, and they look really cool. Like the kind of lighting that they give off is really, it's really warm and like nice. I don't know. I just really like the way the light looks. So um, I put those down in the basement because it kind of gave the vibe of like basement lighting. Um, since basement lighting sometimes can be a little bit moody. Um, and then this is just like, I, I was going for realism. So I just put like the, the like, um, I don't know, the boiler room or like the cooler that has like the water and like all the pipes and stuff. You know that one room when you're a kid and you go in the basement and you're like afraid of it because it makes all the scary noises? It's that room. <laughs> um, so that's where I put it. I, it usually has like the water heater and like the AC and stuff or whatever in there, but yeah. So that's what that room is. And I made it functional because it does have boxes that you can put um, storage in and it also has the uh, decorations box that you can go and like rummage through for decorations and stuff. So it is functional. Um, it's not just like sitting there for no reason. Um, and then now we are on the second floor. Um, I think I cut out the best, the, not the best room, what? The guest room. <laughs> I think I cut out the guest room um, because of time, but that is on, like I said, the first floor. It's like down that hallway um, where like the basement door is. If you go down like past that um, to the right, then there's like a guest bedroom and um yeah so there's that guest bedroom if you need to use it um but i didn't put it in here i don't think so and then there's like the landing upstairs here that i put like a little space so there's like a main living room downstairs and then there's just this little um place where people can come and hang out um at the top so i guess like i don't know if they have like people over or something and then um i'm pretty sure a teenager lives in this house because i did a teen room um, if they had, like, people over and, um, the adults were, like, downstairs, um, chilling out and watching TV or something, um, or, like, a sports night, I don't know, something like that, and then the teens wanted to have, like, their own space to hang out, they could go up, um, upstairs here on this landing area and then, like, watch TV and, like, do their own thing, so, I don't know, that's what my, I was thinking, um, so I made that little space there for, like, sitting around and just, um, yeah, a little hangout space, I guess, but... Now we're in the, um, I guess like baby's room or nursery. I can't remember if I did, I think it is four bedrooms because there's this room and I'm pretty like positive I did a kid's room because of all the toys and stuff in the house. So there's this nursery and then a kid's room and then teen room and then the main bedroom. So it is four bedrooms. <laughs> um, yeah. I did a color scheme in here that I don't think I've done. Well, I mean, I've probably done like blue nurseries because that's just like a basic color <laughs> but um I don't think I've used like a wallpaper like this in a nursery but I really liked it and I think the furniture matches well with the colors in here and stuff like that I guess this is probably I think the you know kids rooms are probably the most colorful in the house but I think that makes sense because usually um kids rooms are a little bit more colorful than the rest of a house realistically so I felt like that was fine when I was doing it, but yeah, I like the wallpaper in here. I don't usually do um, like a floral sort of wallpaper for a nursery, so I like it. I like how it turned out um, and the colors went together pretty well in here, but yeah. I don't think there's any like sims news to talk about since last time actually i think i'm pretty sure we got two new kits D did that already happen from the last time that i posted the bistro kit and then the riviera kit i did i'm pretty sure it did but anyways we have those now and apparently an ep is coming out um it's like romance related or something i don't know what they're doing with it to be honest i'm kind of 
intrigued. I'm not intrigued, but I'm just kind of like, what would they do that's romance themed? Um, because we already have like a wedding pack and everything else. Like, I don't know what they're gonna do. I don't. I'm. Maybe it's just like they're gonna have like dating a dating app. A lot of people are saying that they're probably gonna put that in there. But like other than that, like they can't have a whole EP just for a dating app. Um, as much as they probably would try, <laughs> um, to do that. Uh, so I don't know what it's gonna be. Like, I don't know what's gonna be in it. Um, there's a lot of speculation of different things, but yeah, I don't know. Um, I'm curious about what that's gonna be. I feel like it's not, I don't know, a romance pack doesn't feel like something that should be an expansion. Um, like that doesn't feel like it's gonna have enough content in it, but I don't know. I guess we'll have to find out. I don't know when that's supposed to come out either. Um... I know they don't have like a release date or even like a name or anything for it yet, I don't think. Um, but yeah, I don't know when people are thinking the release is gonna be. Um, but yeah, that's something that's happening, I guess. Um, I don't think anything new other than that has gone on, so yeah, there's really no news, I don't think, so far. Um, yeah. As you can see, we are in the main bedroom here and I just went with like neutral stuff. I think I went a little bit more colorful, to be honest, on the second floor um, because this room obviously isn't like beige or something. It's kind of like that light green color and then I have like reds in here as well, um, but it's neutral enough. I think it's neutral enough to be more on the realistic side, um, but yeah. Um, I did this room here and then it leads off into, they have like their own bathroom and then they have their own walk-in closet and the closet piece, uh, I, I really like this closet, this, I really like this closet set by Max 20 that they made. It's really nice. Like, and it has, I like the detail that it has. Cause like, you know, when you go to like Ikea and you get um, like a closet set and then it has like the holes to like adjust where you put stuff in it. It's got like that detail on the inside on some of the um, pieces that you can put down and I really like that. I don't know, I really like that detail of having um, it look realistic like that on the inside. So I really like the set and it comes with this cool vanity and everything. Um, so I, I don't know, I guess the um, parent of this house really likes um, to dress up and do their makeup and hair and stuff like that. Um, maybe they like fashion and stuff like that because they have a closet for it um, with this nice vanity and everything and some light. I remember seeing like this meme one time where it was like, if you have a window in your walk-in closet, then you've made it. <laughs> um, so I think that's kind of funny um, that there's a window in here and they have this nice closet and this vanity set. So I don't know, maybe there's someone who likes fashion and makeup and hairstyling and stuff like that. Maybe they're a hairstylist or something or like a, um, what's it called? That one career that we have, like where you do like fashion stuff, a stylist. Um, yeah, maybe they're like a stylist or something. Maybe it's something that they've um, started doing recently. And so I don't know. But maybe they've just like always like makeup and hair and clothes and stuff and so they just have that in there but yeah they have a nice walk-in closet space there and then they have their own ensuite bathroom uh which i don't show because of time like i said before <laughs> um but yeah so they have that they have a nice little um space here uh and then i think the i think I think there's like a main bathroom for the two kids and then I think the teen has their own bathroom like attached I'm not sure actually they might not now that I'm thinking about it um but there is other bathrooms on this floor obviously for the other kids um so they don't have to like use their parents bathroom um because that would be awkward but yeah uh they have their own like upstairs bathroom and then obviously this one here uh, I think there's only two. Maybe there's more. I think there's only two on this floor. I can't really remember. Um, but yeah, 
they do have their own space and then this is the kids bedroom and i'm using the these cute sheets from um this is also a wing llama uh from their like bedroom like nostalgic bedroom set and i really like this watch with the like space and it's got astronauts and and like ships and stuff like that on it so i thought that was cute so i decided to go with this and uh this wallpaper with like the blue and yellow stripes because i thought it went really well with the um bed sheets i was trying to kind of like match it this room is very matchy matchy it's very much like blue and yellow um so yeah that's what the color scheme of this bedroom is um so yeah but i, I really like the way that it turned out this bedroom i think it looks cute it kind of looks like they got um like they just went like on a shopping trip and then got like the furniture that would all match uh for this kid's room so i don't know i just like that it looks like that like they went out and just got everything um at the same time but yeah and i put this i put a desk in here and then they have their own uh like that get together sort of like walk-in closet thing uh that you can put in the wall so they have that as a closet and then they have this um desk space here and then i think i put a dresser in here as well um so yeah they have lots of clutter and like books and stuff um on their desk i think that they like to do art and sports and they also i think i put a uh what's it called you know that like yeah the void critter thing this thing right here i put this down as well in the room so they can have um that because that's also something that's also an object that I don't really use that often. I feel like the kids room pack is something I don't use very often. Um, I use like the furniture often, like the dresser, like the wardrobe thing and the mirror and the bed and stuff. I use that pretty often, but I don't use like the actual like functional objects of like for like activities, which is like stupid because like, like I feel like that's a good reason to get that pack. Um, I've definitely used the, the Void Critter station before, but I don't put it in houses very often. I don't know if it's something you can size down. I should probably look into that because it's just such like a big object that's kind of hard to fit in kids' rooms most of the time. Um, I usually don't have room for it in the house, so um, I think that's why I don't usually use it. But yeah, I want to use... I should use those objects more often because I feel like that makes sense to use the thing that you got. Like, I don't know why I'm not using some of these objects. I think I just forget about it. Um, but then I'm like playing the game and then I complain that there's like nothing for my kids to do. But like, I'm just not using the items that we have because I forget that they exist. Um, but yeah, anyways. They have that void critter station thing in there so they can play on it um, and have like friends come over and all that stuff. And yeah, that's pretty much all this is for that room. And then we move on to the teen room and they also have their own like closet thing. Oh, actually, I didn't put the get together closet in here. It was just this closet from Max 20. Um, for some reason, I thought I put the walk-in one, but I didn't. It was just, uh, this set here, but yeah. So I put, I think I was just, like, really excited about using this closet set, to be honest, because I saw it for a while, um, and I was waiting for it to, um, exit early access, and I just really like the way that it looks, so <laughs> I, I didn't use, um, any other closet thing, I don't think, uh, for the bedrooms, but yeah. Anyways, I did go for blue again in this room i don't know i was in a blue mood when i was building this and i just felt like using that color but i think this room is like this light blue and like orange themed i think that's i went for blue and orange so that's what's in here and they have posters up on the wall and um all that stuff i don't know teen stuff posters music stuff actors i think sketches i also put in here some sketches that they've drawn so i think maybe um i don't know i think they're kind of artsy maybe um which is like i feel like that's a typical thing i feel like everyone makes their sims like artsy there's like artists or um musicians or something like that uh i feel like people don't use like make their sims 
like scientists or doctors or stuff that often it's usually like the adults or something but like if they have teens or they're doing like a legacy gameplay i feel like they all the time it's like musician or artist sims because i know i'm guilty of that like that's usually what i make my sims um but it's always nice to dive into like you know the scientists and like the more brainy careers i feel like i don't do that as often and i i should make use of it I haven't played the Dr. Creer in a long, like, a hot minute. Like, it's been a while since I did that, but, um, that's, like, a really hard career, actually. If you've ever tried to play the medical career in The Sims 4, it's actually kind of hard, so, um, but it's fun. It's one of the, like, go to work with your Sims careers, like, you can follow them there. Um, yeah, it's a fun career, but it's, it's kind of hard, so I haven't done that career in a hot minute. Maybe I should make a Sim that's a doctor. Um, but yeah, anyways, um, I put a desk in here. Um, I think it's like basically the same as the kids room. Like they have the bed, the desk, the closet space, and I just put like a little couch, like seating area. I don't know. I feel like, I don't know. There's room. There's room. So I put a little <laughs> seating area, um, in this room. And then I was trying to make like a desk that looked like it was like coming out of like a unit like i wanted to make like a unit but then it wasn't working out and i couldn't find something that l didn't look stupid so i didn't bother <laughs> and um i just used um i think i just put it against the wall i don't think i use any shelving um yeah i just put it against the wall but i was trying to make like a unit looking thing i don't know i have to find like a piece of cc that looks like that that i like because usually they're very like historical looking but i just want to find one that looks um, more up to date, I guess. Um, because I like those units and I feel like they make sense for, especially like for like a family computer situation on like a main floor. So I have to find something that looks like that. But yeah, um, this is their desk, uh, the Teen Sims desk. And I just put like books and stuff there. Um, probably work from here, do the homework, all that good stuff. And I think that's pretty much it for this room. Like I, I didn't do anything super crazy or special but yeah i think that's all for this build um we're getting to the end now of the video and that's about it i hope that you guys really enjoyed this video and i hope that you like this build and as always there will be a um download um in the description box so you can get it from some file share um where you can get the tray files and everything and also um, there's a new way to download that I've made up. It's basically a virtual mods folder. It'll explain it when you open it. It's just like a Google Docs form. Um, and it has like creators, um, listed and like the sets that I have in my mods folder. Um, and then the ones that are being used for this build are being highlighted in pink. So whatever's highlighted in pink when you open the Google Docs folder is what I've used. Um, and so you can just download that. You don't have to download everything. It's just what's highlighted in pink. Um, but yeah, there's a little instruction in there anyways, um, in case, uh, you need some guidance, but yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, it's just hopefully an easier way, um, of keeping track of everything and hopefully an easier way for you guys to be able to download stuff. So yeah, I hope you like it and I will see you all next time in the next video. Bye.